Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, ever since I tried this game, I've wanted to play it again. So I'm going to play it again. This is Dungeons and Degenerate Gamblers. This is a demo. It's currently available for free. The game is coming out later this year. This is by Purple Moss Collectors, which I believe is a single person indie studio. Uh, this is Bellatro, but if it was Blackjack, this game's amazing. Last time we played, we played with clubs. Uh, I do want to try some of the harder things, but I think I should like finish a run first, probably. So we'll play the other easy deck. We played clubs last time. Let's play hearts this time. Hearts heal you. When you get black checks, you get heal. I did end up taking quite a lot of damage as I got later. So I'm kind of into healing. You approach the old tavern. It reeks of ale and addiction. You're going to have to master the strange version of blackjack they play here. Oh, don't you worry. I won't. Hit. 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 Unlucky. I got absolutely <laughs> styled on. I actually took so much damage. Hit. Hit. 13 versus 19. Hit. Uh, out of hit. Unlucky. Hit. Well, what's left? Oh, we have an ace. Let's go. Hit. Oh! Heal me. Wait, how much did I get healed? There's a difference, I think. Yeah, I think only... I think it's the difference, but I think it was only three, unfortunately. Uh, this pile is... 10, 17... This tile's basically a 17, which is maybe okay. It's good against that. I'm standing. Oh, wait, they already got 20. I mean, whatever. I don't think I have any hits that were good. I had the four. Never mind. Blackjack's hard. 10. This is good. I would double. But we're not at a casino. I see it. Took 21 damage. That's a lot. <laughs> All right. Now we got some cards. Blank card I liked a lot. Time card. Exploit, which is spend one advantage, which you don't have a way to gain yet. But while... While you have a card with 9 or 5 in play, gain 10 chips. Chips are currency. So this is like an econ card. One, break limits, which is... <laughs> ah, looks suspiciously similar to limit break, doesn't it? From a different deck builder that is very well known that I love dearly. Uh, called Slay the Spire, if you didn't get the reference. On play, choose another card currently in play. Double its value for the rest of the encounter. Can you double your um, opponent's cards? I think you can, and I'm going to try it. What's it worth? Oh, yeah. These are the same as last time. So we took chip in our shoulder last time. This is if you hit and you have a score of at least 12, gain an advantage. Chipotle Pepper is interact, take four damage, gain one advantage. I'm actually going to take this. I have a healing deck now, and you definitely want ways to get advantage uh, generally. Like, there's lots of things you want to do that gaining advantage is good for. Limit break is. It's the one. Is that its value? One? Maybe. 14 versus what is this? Okay, so now my bus limit's 22. So you made it easier for me. 13? Oh no, it's 4 or 13. Oh, hit, obviously. Uh, now it's 14. They have to stand on 13. I forget some of the patrons have different rules. Uh, how many misses do I have? I think this is a hit. Uh, 14. So 6 under is a hit. 7 under is a hit. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, how many cards are in here? 11. Right? I think that number means 11. I'll just count quickly. 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, it is 11. Okay, so half of my hits. Well... This, is, I think, is good if we hit it. Uh, so 6 of 11 hits are good, so a bit more than 50%. I mean, we should flip here, I think, every time. Banger. All right, they took one. Go. Again. 19. All right, let's well, take 19. Go to one. I really want to hit limit break. Limit. It can work on their stuff. That's an absolute slapper. Uh, if I, hang on, this is so complicated. If I poke them, uh, if I poke them to 16, I have to beat a 16 and I don't exactly remember what's left in my deck. This will tell me, oh, that's so good. Uh, eight, 
Oh, eight is a hit. This is my pile. Four out of five. Okay, so this is the, this is the play. This is the play. This is the play. We poke. Uh, we should poke the low card because I have to stand on thirteen. I don't think poking the six does anything. Yeah, I think we poke the five. I put them on sixteen. They stand, and now all of my hits win, except the ten, which busts me. But I mean, that's twenty percent. So we obviously hit. <laughs> Come on, man! I feel scammed. Uh, I have a 10 in my deck. I'm an 8 and a 5 versus a 16. They're standing. 11 plus 8 is a win. 11 plus 5 is... Uh, okay, this is actually a free roll. We got the hit that won. If we tie, uh, if we pushed, I think yeah, it's just a tie, like nothing happens. So Always correct, I think. Well, obviously always correct here. It's a free roll. We can't ever lose. <laughs> Dark Mage. Uh, I summon Dark Mage in attack mode. I love this game. All right, so we're going to have eight of clubs, a ten of hearts. Ten might not be bad. Although, I need more aces, I feel like. I feel like that's what I was missing last time. Didn't hit any blackjacks. And I think we have enough tens because we have all the face cards and a ten, which is of the 13 cards you start with, like most of them. <laughs> but I think we need more aces to hit blackjacks. So I'm not into this 10 quite yet. Don't want either of the regular cards. So Dark Mage is handy on play. Choose a card you have in play with a value of seven or higher and burn it. That's interesting. It's cost zero. So if you hit this card and your board's really high, you'll be able to play for longer. Kind of into that. What's the other card? Oh, it's a mystery. I have to pay 21 chips. Well, I'll reveal it. Because you have to take it. That's what I thought. Handy on play. Creates copies. Hang on, what? Adds to your hand to be played later. What does that mean? Okay, whatever. I don't know exactly what handy means. I thought I did, and now I'm wrong. Yeah, whatever. Uh, on play, create copies of each of your opponent's played cards. Put them into your draw pile, then burn this card. I don't think I want my opponent's cards. I'll go with Dark Mage, but... Social Security card. Interesting. Uh, oh, events? I don't think I've done an event yet, have I? Alright. Fancy room, cheap room. Maybe I did, actually. Alright. No sleep, lose 5 HP. That seems suboptimal. We'll read the event text, because why not? The bartender wants to know if you'd like to stay the night in one of the tavern's many rooms. Clearly, some rooms are better than others. You're right. One of them is literally called No Sleep, which seems awful. Cheap room or fancy room. 45 chips to heal 8. Random card is stolen from your deck. Oh, I think this is the first time we've seen deck removal in the game. So it's a random removal, but that's, I think, definitely the way deck builders are trending. In fact, pretty confident Slay the Spire 2, based on the very, very, very few screenshots we've seen, is going to be using the same concept. Otherwise, you can feel 15 HP for 65 chips, which is most of my money, but I do want the health. This heals 8. I'm kind of down for a random card to get stolen. Dang it! That was not one of the ones I wanted stolen, I don't think. Uh, we'll play the Bard, because he has one less HP than the other one. Don't know if that's, like, good decision-making or not, but we made it. I mean, I could have lost anything. I mean, I didn't want to lose my, my fancy cards. Three, four, six, seven. Seven of 16 cards I didn't want to lose. Happened to lose a king. I mean, it's not so bad. Oh, oh, you know, work on itself. Oh, I didn't know it like blew itself up. I think it's just for the. Wait, I'm so confused. All right, whatever. What does Gerald from Riviera do again? Oh, Gerald burned my card. Okay, that's fine. Seven versus thirteen. Ten versus seven. Double. Can't double. Oh. That's what Handy does. Also, did anyone else besides me only just now notice that there's a literal hand down here? <laughs> Actually, the first time I noticed this, though. Mildly terrifying, but uh, that's cool. So when this card gets played, it goes straight to your hand. That's really cool. So now I can burn my 7 if I need to. We'll have a 10, so I'm never dying. So we hit literally every time. 20, easy game. Get clapped. Ace. 1 and 8. Bang! Unlucky. Oh, they're on 14 or 4. Yikes. 
Uh, three misses. Three misses out of seven cards. I could burn my queen with my dark mage. Then I would never ever die. Just trying to think what combinations of cards I have to actually hit from four. Um, I mean, I guess if I'm waiting for them to stand or bust, burning a card actually seems kind of good here. Let's try it. I want to use advantage. Wait, do I? Why do I need advantage to play this? Wait, why do I need advantage to burn this? That is not clear to me. All right, let me see if this works. Oh, okay. I didn't, I really can't tell why I need advantage to play that. I might just be missing something in the UI. Um, but yeah, that's the first time in this game I feel like I've not been clear about how something worked. And this game's otherwise been like very, very easy to understand. So not sure if it's like a, a me thing. Kind of funny for Yu-Gi-Oh though, right? Which is this obviously referencing, you have to tribute something, get an advantage. All right, anyway, let's blow this up. Yes, burning this. All right, so they are at 14, kind of unlucky. Nine, busted, easy. Uh, I could hit to deal more damage, so die if I hit 19 actually, seems worth. 17, too many busts. They're at one, that's kind of cool though. I can see why that would be really powerful. Like I just got to delay an extra turn basically. 18 versus 15. Oh, yikes. Uh, I mean, I'm not gonna die most of the time. Cringe. Ah, uh, no blackjack, right? Sad. All right. Oh, what? Uh, I'll stand. Oh, I think that was a good stand actually. Don't know how the math checked out, but it, it worked out fine for me. <laughs> All right, what are we adding? Misprint, oh, that's so cool. That like legit is like a classic, like, I mean, I'm sure lots of games, but like I've seen this a lot in Magic the Gathering, which is a game I'm very familiar with. So man, the attention to detail in this deck, like all the references, just so good. Uh, anyway, on play, set value to six, then create a seven of spades and put it in your hand. On stand, rounds up. Rounds up is pretty powerful. So this is a six, and then gives you a seven. Otherwise, it's just a fancy six that rounds up. On play. Ooh! Instant Blackjack, this is the only face card currently in your entire deck. Well, well, well. Good thing we accidentally destroyed a face card now, is it? All right, we have a plan. Yeah, I don't even care what the other cards are. I'm taking that. That's anything that says Instant Blackjack. I mean, that just sounds amazing. What does a counterfeited do? Anyone know? Card remove store. I don't remember. Let's find out. Oh, that's cool. I do want to do this actually. I can't increase a uh, non face card. Yeah, I was going to say I can't make more 11s, which kind of makes sense. Uh, I don't think I want to do this actually. I'm just going to leave. Cost me 45 chips. Shop. Oh, it's my first shop. I know there's like, okay, like don't yell at me. I know there's stuff down here. I don't really know what this means. Okay. Like, I haven't played that much of this game to know what's going on here. I'm just enjoying the ride. So don't yell at me saying that I could figure out what's going on by looking in the bottom right because it says this floor to come and there's all this stuff. I don't know what that means, all right? It's only play. Anyway, now I, now I might look at this later, but <laughs> just so you know, I'm aware. Shop four or eight cards. This place is host to all sorts of visitors, but it seems like there are more people entering than are actually here. Where are they all? I don't know. Uh, why would I want eight? Is this like literally fours or eights or like four cards versus eight cards? I'm going to take it literally and say it's four or eight cards. And I don't know why I would ever want four cards versus eight if I have a choice. So I'm going to go with eight. That is exactly what it is. What the? All right. Well, I don't know why it wasn't like that, but that's fine. Get out of jail free card. On play, instant tie on discard burn. Goes into your hand. How do I discard this? Wait, discard burns it? Or burn something else? I think it burns itself. A booster pack, nice. Create five random cards. Put them in your hand. One will be foil, big pug. Foil is handy at the start of encounter and causes zero advantage to play from hand. I guess advantage. Ah, uh, here we go. 
See, if I read the tooltip, I would know. Advantage is gained from unique chips and is spent to play cards from hand or to exploit cards. So I guess I knew about exploit. I didn't know about playing cards from hand. Now I know. Thanks, tooltip. Uh, 21. I mean, that literally just wins if you slam it. I don't want any base cards. Card sleeve. That's cute. On play, choose a card that you have in play and lock that card, then burn this card. Lock cannot be discarded. I think... Wait, what? Unplay gets plus one value. Once it reaches 21, becomes burn this card and put booster packs in your hand. I don't think I want five booster packs. That just seems like too insane. Kind of down for the 21 of clubs though, I think. Might be a little too, might be too spicy, but I'm here for the instant black jackification. All right. Can I get the one in 16 please deck? It does mean that I have more, more, way more instant kills for myself also, which is not sub, not optimal. I need to remove this Joker too. What well, does in my deck mean? Like literally in my deck, or in my deck like at all outside the game? You know. Anyway, always hit stand, nailed it. Because now, wait, hang on. Now all my face cards are gone, right? Like technically, my deck has no face cards in it. This is currently in your entire deck. So I think if I hit this, I win instantly, which would be an absolute slapper. Unlucky. What's this? All right. Uh, I have 110 for the blackjack and everything else is, oh, I guess this would also do it. Yeah, this value is actually 10. So it would just do it regardless. I mean, we can always, one of the bad things about adding the 21 of clubs to my deck is that now I can always die if I hit, but that's just the risk we leave. We uh risk we take. Also, oh no, an ace will kill me. And eh, whatever. Blackjack. I don't know how much I healed. Does it heal equal to the hearts? No. It doesn't say, does it? I don't know. No 21. Getting closer to getting one shot. Uh we'll hit. Nine? I mean, surely. I'm gonna get one shot at some point. It's gonna be very unpleasant. Uh, sevens and lower are good here. Dark Mage is good. Break Limits is good. I have like three hits that are good and then two that don't kill me. Five of nine. Dang it. Everything's fine. That's not 21. I mean, we have no 10s left except this. This doesn't kill me. One in six, no problem. I actually can't burn, oh, I can burn the seven. That wouldn't prevent me from getting 21 though. Uh, versus a four, I could stand on 11 and hope they bust. Seems kind of dumb. They have only even cards though. Uh, yeah. This doesn't do anything. I would have to hit like 10, 8, 8, 6. I guess any combination of uh, 6, 6 would actually be good. Any combination of 6, 8, 8, 8, 10, 10. 10, 4 would be bad. 10, 6 would be bad. Any combination of 6, 8, 8, 8, 10, 10, 10, 8. It's not that many combinations, is it? 1, 2, Four, five, it's like a 50% to hit one of those. And then you have to hit, I mean, the math is really complicated. I'm not going to do it all. Uh, how likely am I to die? Nine is good. Two is good. 10 is good. Uh, one in five, basically all my hits are good except the 21. So we'll just hit. <laughs> Unlucky. All right, they wouldn't have busted. Not that we should play that way. Oh, this didn't work. So this must mean in your entire deck generally which because these are obviously my discard pile currently so that's kind of a shame but we have good hits here 19 seems fine nice suit uh shame Thirteen versus sixteen. 
have a lot of busts here. I'm gonna stand. Bleah. Gross. Ace! <laughs> That's really bad, actually. Uh, maybe 21 of clubs is too ambitious. 18? Are you kidding me? I actually have to stand and take one. That sucks. Ace? Basically 50% to lose. If I stand. Uh, I think it's better than... The two and five. Actually, insta die if I hit, so I have to stand. Oof. Ace? One and four? Never lucky. Ten beats me. Four, six beats me. Four, eight. Busts. No, four, eight doesn't. Okay, I have to hit. Wow, there's actually so many ways to die here. Ugh, the five also doesn't work. No! This is terrible. They're so unlikely to bust, and they're also so likely to hit 18 and beat me. They actually can't hit 17, because they have only evens in their deck. That's like the special property of this character, or this enemy. Man, so I have to take the one in three to not die. Depresso. Really depresso. Oof. Man. Ah. <laughs> I mean, 30% versus, I mean, I'm dead to like every combination of these cards basically, right? Does 8 6 also. Does 8 6 get me? I even have 16. I mean, they'd hit. But I guess 16 6. We have like four cards they definitely can't hit, and basically nine don't really count the exercise card, because they just basically redraw. So if they hit one of these four, oh, my chances go up. If I hit the six and a four though, it's actually just ogre. I mean, I'm so unlikely to win here. So I think 30% is better than whatever the math, whatever this absolutely like behemoth amount of math I'm trying to do is. I think the answer is probably yes. Uh, I'm like not good enough to do this math even close to for real. Six plus eight is 20, right? If they hit six and eight. 14 plus, oh no, it's a, no, that is bust actually. So if they hit a six, so if they hit a six plus and hit again, there's a six of those, which is a little bit better than the rest. They'd have to hit uh, I'm just I'm deleting this card basically like I don't think it really exists because if I hit it it's just a redraw so I'm calculating the nine cards I have left they have s six cards of nine kind of and then five of eight because the four four is good actually I think standing is better 30 percent versus whatever I mean this is very not real math but like whatever because 6-6 six, six also is bad, but it's like 6 of 9 and then 4 of 8. So a weighted coin flip and then a coin flip. That sounds better than 1 in 3. I'm going to stand. Come on, fam. <laughs> uh, I mean, I do not know enough about... I'm nowhere near it good, good enough at math to know. Uh, if that was correct or not but if you are good at math you can tell me if the calculation was actually correct or not this game this game rules it's so good uh i will be playing this again for sure hope you guys enjoyed a taste of black uh dungeons and degenerate gamblers i'm gonna said blackjack because that's kind of the game I, I would not like to well i'm grieving inside this could be the thumbnail <laughs> yeah i hope you guys enjoyed dungeons 
and Degenerate Gamblers. I love this game. I'll be playing it again. In fact, I might just be adding it to the regular rotation. I love it so much. I don't really know if other people love it, but I do. And that makes me want to play it. So probably expect you to expect to see this at least once a week leading up until the full release, whenever that is. I guess it depends kind of how long that is and how much content the demo has. But the demo has so much content that I have not finished it yet because I keep dying in runs of this game because it's kind of hard and really, really fun. Bit shorter than usual videos, but I hope that's still enough to whet your appetite. If you are a Dungeons and Degenerate Gamblers fan, let me know in the comments below because I need encouragement to play this game more because I love it so much. Uh, like the video if you want does help the channel more than you ever realize and subscribe if you're new and you want to see more gameplay on the channel we do a lot of things here on hungry on game mostly we play card games and complain and play badly but uh sometimes we do fun things and we have fun <laughs> great great bit of ad copy the channel there definitely wrote that one down been thinking about that for a week anyway uh thanks as always for dropping by it's a pleasure to have you here on the channel wherever you are in the world thanks for hanging out i'll see you next time